celebrate love. It was, needless to say, not your average City Hall wedding day. Eight gay couples gathered in the city council chambers, joined by more than 100 family and friends, members of the media, and one gubernatorial candidate to join in official matrimony. I, Stephen M. Fulop, mayor, by the power vested in me by the sovereign state of New Jersey, do now pronounce these couples and joined in marriage. Congratulations. Just after midnight, there was still uncertainty mixed with the jubilation. At that point, Governor Christie was still fighting the legality of these weddings, and the ceremony was an act of defiance. David and Peter have been together for 13 years. You hear people t saying that you don't, there's, you, sh you know, it, equality should be left up to a popular vote. I mean, if that were the case, we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't be where we are today. I mean, the people, uh, what's right is different than what everybody, you know, wants. With polls showing strong support among state voters and the Supreme Court affirming unanimously on Friday that same-sex couples were not equal under the law in New Jersey, the governor got the message and dropped his appeal. For Barbara Buono, it was an issue that she had hoped would draw a clear line between herself and the governor. David Gibson and Rich Kiamko are Buono supporters and had invited her to their wedding. Her embrace of, of this cause has energized us, and I think it's partly why we're here tonight. Oh, so you. we want to oh, stand God. with her so yeah. in this important historic that. moment. No, she's David here. David is on message tonight. So. Uh, oh no, he's yeah. he's authentic. But, but he's the authentic. message is including us. How can that be a message? I mean, it's like, how could we not think of our own self-interest right. and right. the rest of the people's self-interest? Amy Levine and Nancy Scott have considered themselves married for over eight years. They said today was a bit overwhelming but it was an opportunity to help their fellow New Jerseyans embrace change. I was saying as soon as we walked in that this is really surreal and um, we're happy to be a part of it and just to support everybody here in the room on such a great day. Um, this is exciting for all of us. We've been waiting for it for a very long time. So what's next? What are you going to do? Uh, are you going away? Honeymoon or anything? <laughs> You're going yeah, to work only, tomorrow, right? We're probably going to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. One of the couples we spoke to this morning predicted that in a very short time, gay people being married in New Jersey would not only be the law, but it would be no big deal. Not sure they knew that that day would be today. In Jersey City, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.